Hi, welcome back to another Archicad speed modeling quick coffee tip. I had a lot of people asking me about my working environment. So I thought I'd do a quick tip about this, how you can sort of match my environment. And um, if you look down in my bio below this video, there's actually a link where you can download your free ASM TechBase environment. Okay, cool. I, let's get started then. I've got my environment here, as you can see, and let's swap back to a normal standard one, or maybe, you know, you've got a different environment. So let's just go apply a standard profile. So maybe a lot of you have, when you start Archicad up, you get this. Now to match what I've got, the easiest way is you just open one of my videos on YouTube and you compare. I'll show you, you know, I've got one open here. So then you can just really start Look at the top here, what, what's in there and what do I have? Okay, so i show you how to just add a couple of the um, windows and items I have here. Let's start at the bottom as example. I've got here the info box with X, Y and so on. So to add this down here, as you can see, there's nothing there. All the boxes are actually in those two um, pull them in. You see, all everything is in here and you got all the palettes. If it's in blue, it will show up. If it's not in blue, it's turned off. So as you can see all the way down here to the control box, coordinates, so let's just click this one. And what happens is got this one now here and I show you in here, it did show up now a bit blue. All right, cool. So all I have to do is now you move this down here and you place this there. Now what is important, let's just go back here to or open this the first time, the working environment. Okay, I've got my profile here called, I just called the cast in May. This is May 19. And if you click here, I got some other schemes which are down here. So I called them all the same. I got the user preference, company, standards, and so on. So if I go down here to as example, tool schemes, there is again cast and May 19. So I'm, I show you how to do this. What happened is if I go further down as example, I go to the command layout, workspace theme. Then you can see what happens because I post something down here, it created automatically a custom. So it tells me, okay, the workspace scheme, I just changed this. I put this coordinate box at the bottom here and it created this custom. So what you can do is then you can say, oh, I want to change this. So you to redefine it or you store it as a new one. But obviously I want to store everything as a new one. So let's start from the top. I do a new profile. Actually, you know what? I want to really start with my standard profile. So let's standard profile set as default. Okay, so you can see all the standards are default. Now let's do a new profile and we call this ASM tech base. And down here, I'm not doing anything for now. Okay, so you, it's just a standard one in here. Let's just put standard one in here too. And I click OK. So what you get now is you got this ACE and tech base here, but all this hasn't changed at all. So this is the main name of your working environment. To start changing stuff down here now and around, you just have to click in a certain um, schemes you want to change. So as example, as I did before, the workspace scheme, I changed this, I put my um, coordinate box down here, and as you can see, it's on custom. So what I want to do is now, let's store this as a new name, and we store this one as, again, ASM Tech Base. That's for this um, tutorial. So I store this, and I've got this new scheme option and that scheme option is just the workspace all right so if i go back here now tech base and as you see it hasn't changed and you see workspace scheme is still standard so what you have to do is you got to change this now so what we do is so i've clicked on here and i can edit this now there you go. Now I can say, okay, I want the workspace scheme I called ASM Tech Base. So you go here, click there, and you choose ASM Tech Base. Click OK. 
and down here you see this changed. So now it picks, if I go back here, it picks this one and it doesn't pick this one. All right, so let's go back here. I set this as default, click OK. All right, see this is now in there. Just as recap, very simple. We started with a standard profile. The info box is gone down here. And now we added this to our new environment called ASM TechBase. And it turns up here. All right, so I hope I explained this clearly because this is, this is very important to get this base right. How do you change the working environment? The main one, which is top, and all the different ones which you have down here. Okay, let's just assume you matched as much as you could to my environment, but obviously there's a couple of other little things I did. So let's go back here as example. I open this, let's go into the wall tool here before I do this because it's easier to see. So I'm going to the working environment and toolbox, there we go. So we got the wall and there's toolbox there and we got info box, that's the one I want. The toolbox was that one on the left here and two settings is actually you not, know, I haven't really used those two, two different ones to be honest. No, I used this one and use the bottom one. The bottom one, the info box is what you see up here. Unfortunately, because I got this window open, you can't see, I'll show you in a moment. So if I cancel this, so if I click on the wall, I got different tools here or, you know, stuff I can use. So if I go to slab as example, this changes. And again, you can adjust this yourself. So let's go to the wall tool. You don't have to be in it, but I just do this. Working environment and we got info box. So I got, I show it goes from left to right. So I show the main, I show the layers, geometry, reference site, structure, and so on of my wall tool. So if I cancel this out, see that's the main one, geometry, and so on, and so on, and so on. So again, you just try too much, um, as much as you can. The next bit is, let's just say I go now and choose my working environment, this one, because it's a bit easier to explain. So let's just say you're getting close to this. There's a couple of palettes here that I, I added on stuff. This is a good example on the right here. This palette is called Attributes. See, if I turn this off, it's gone. And we go back, Attributes. Now, I added a couple of things like the Profiler and Renovation Filter and Attribute Manager to the standard Attribute window. So, how do you do this? So, we go in here working environment and we go to toolbars okay see over here that's where it is you can see i duplicated as example this one i started with this and i duplicated this into called it edit element custom because i changed a couple of things in here but for now attributes and what i did is I just added those ones. I think it stopped at the pants and collars and those three things, they are new. The way you do it is very simple. You go through over here. Well, it's sort of simple because there's always a lot of information, but the best thing is you go by alphabetical order and anything you want to add, it's just do, yeah, look, this is just for an, a tutorial. So let's just add something. Very simple, we go and add a fill. I know it doesn't matter, it doesn't fit there, it doesn't matter. So all you do is you click this add selector and it puts it there. Now you can move this up. Alright, if I leave it there, you can see it will go out of the screen, you won't see it anymore. So what I do is let's move this between pens and pen color and profile manager. So go there. Okay. Now before we go out, watch what happens. It went to custom again. So I have to go now to custom May and this time I redefine, redefine, custom is gone and I say okay. So what happens now is here the fill 
turned up there and obviously pushed my attribute out, which is not a good thing. But this is purely for you guys to have a look how it's done. So maybe one more time to see what I did. So I'll go back here, I choose the attribute, and this time obviously I wanna remove this. And before you click OK, go back to your command layout schemes, because it's on custom, go there, and you redefine, redefine, and it's all good again. You can see Bill is gone, my attribute manager is back. Okay, look, this this look, it's this is pretty much it about the working my how, how you make your own. So I, I hope this is sort of clear. It's a little bit of work, but it's well worth doing, you know, because you work much faster, you get used to it. And again, if you want to have my working environment um, below the video, there's a link. You can click on it. If you sign up, you can get this working environment for free and you can just import it which by the way i haven't told you but it's very straightforward so let's go here and obviously you can go and import and you just wherever you put your download you look for it it will turn up in this window you know you browse and as soon as you got it in this window all you have to do is click on it you click import and it will turn up in here and all you have to do is go up here and you maybe have this one and then you get this ASM tech base, you set as default, or you can also do this up here by option working environment, apply profile, and we are back to the working environment I use. All right, cool, I hope you enjoyed this little quick tip and I'll see you back next time. Bye for now.